Yerushalayim. Kahla Yahweh. Ba'asham Yaharashai. The more honest to the elders in Israel, which rule well. So, once I've crossed this road, we're going to get into 2 Timothy, the second chapter. A basic read through. I try to keep my comments extra biblical commentary to a minimum. But this is definitely one of my favorite chapters. And it's a very encouraging, very encouraging. So for a time like this, I think it's fitting, you know? So, let me get down this bit. There we go. All right. Second Timothy, the second chapter. Kahala Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashai, Yahweh Shai. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach of the seed of Dawad was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds. But the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is not bound. Therefore I endure all these things for the elect's sake that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things, put them in remembrance charging them before the Lord had one, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to subverting of the hearers. Study to shew thyself approved unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, and their word will eat as doth a canker of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Mashiach depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honour and some to dishonour. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honour, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lusts, will follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes, and the servant of Ha'ada one must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Double honors to the elders in Israel that rule well. All praises to Yahweh in Yahweh Shai name. Ka halal, Yahweh, Fasham, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.